and this is just a great addition to the medical center to have these paintings. I love it. We've donated 30 museum quality giclées, which are museum quality reproductions on canvas, printed with archival inks on artist grade cotton canvas, to uh, Blair Batson uh, Children's Hospital um, in, an, in an effort to help the children heal because um, I believe in the art and healing program. It livens up this hallway tremendously, which is much needed. It'll take the kids' minds off what they have to go through every day, which is the point. Lots of color. It was sort of a bland, beige hallway before all this got put up, and it's really beautiful. Each year we uh, like to give back, and we travel around the country, and we make donations to uh, predominantly children's hospitals. The name of the gallery is Gitter Gallery. We're out of New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, we predominantly sell to um, high-end retail stores here in uh, Jackson. We sell to the Everyday Gourmet in Madison. Our products can be found at Persnickety. And we sell to stores like these all over the country. We try to participate in the art and healing program that goes on around the country because we believe that art helps heal. And if for a moment in time it can take the child away from the injury, adversity, or illness that brought him here in the first place, then it will have comp accomplished not only the artist's mission, but my mission as well. Nice for the kids. Very. Yes, yes. Wow. very colorful, friendly, yeah. something to look at while they're walking by. You got kids, animals, fruit, chickens. You know, just an array of things. So we were just trying to check it out and see what was going to be in our halls. I try to choose um, images that I think will be appealing to everybody involved, whether it be the physicians, the patients, the staff, the administration. So I try to take images from each artist, and I try to uh, provide multiple images from each artist so that every artist is well represented in the hospital. Some of the children here are not just here for a day. Some of them are here for a prolonged period of time. And my whole family are physicians. And I think that um, looking at bare walls is much more difficult than looking at very beautiful, vibrant, colorful walls, especially when you have interesting stories where they can read the artist's biography and learn their story. So it's not only a visual experience, but it's also an educational experience. I think art's about telling a story, and these are uh, uh, what some people call, well, this is more folk art or uh, outsider art, so it's very um, approachable. Uh, these paintings tell a story, and I think it'll be a great uh, thing for patients and their families and staff just to bring a little joy to their life. I think that art helps heal and if uh, if it can take them away from those things that are making them feel bad even for a moment that will have accomplished its mission. Children need to ask questions and tell stories and sort of forget why they're here maybe for a little bit and I think this is a wonderful gift and it'll be a great addition to the medical center. Several of the artists that you see here today had to deal with their own adversity as a child. Toby Hollinghead slipped and fell on a knife as an infant and, and became blind in one eye, yet she became an amazing artist. Mary Klein had triple bypass surgery three times prior to the age of 21. Clementine Hunter had to endure a very harsh environment up until the age of 15, picking cotton and pecans on Hidden Hill Plantation prior to moving to Melrose Plantation in Natchitoches and becoming a world famous artist. This past week, we introduced a new ceramic line featuring Clementine Hunter's artwork. We were named as one of Oprah's favorite things. So even though sometimes life deals you some adversity, it doesn't mean that you can't ultimately hit your objective in life. And I hope that this art helps to meet that objective for everyone here. It's fabulous, but I'll tell you, every time I walk down this hallway now, I see something a little bit different than I saw the last time. It, I just love it. I mean, I didn't think work could get any better, but here we are.